So, if you read the title for today's video, it's not a joke. This is a serious situation that developed over, I guess you could say over two months now, because it happened back in October. But before I talk about what happened two months ago and why I need ankle surgery all of a sudden, I'd just like to really thank you guys, you guys as the subscribers, you guys as the viewers who've been watching my videos for the last three years. I never thought we'd reached over 900 plus subs. And I never thought I'd be able to get to this point because I was actually thinking about quitting YouTube last year because my videos weren't doing so well. So I was thinking, I'm putting all this effort in and I think I might quit, but I'm glad I didn't. Also, before I go ahead and give the explanation, I'd also like to really quickly say that this is the second to last video that will be coming out for 2020. There will be one other video coming out on the 28th. It's an an music, another music animation. I decided to start doing these music animations once a year, at least, or maybe twice a year, depending on what music really piques my interest that I can make an animation for. So keep an eye out for that. And without further ado, guys, I'll get right into the explanation. So about two months ago, on October 9th, I was in extreme ankle pains. It was so bad to the point where I couldn't even put a single ounce of pressure on my foot. To give you guys an idea of what it was like, I literally posted a tweet the night before it happened. Actually, no, the day of, but it was at 12 o'clock at midnight. I said the following. My ankle is on fire. I can't walk a few inches without nearly falling on my ass. I've had ankle problems before, but I know how they are. This one, I don't know. I haven't felt this kind of pain before in years. And that part about me saying I haven't felt this kind of pain before and I know what this, what my ankle pain feels like is because I've had ankle problems my entire life. Because I have what's called hemophilia in my body. And what hemophilia is, it's basically like sort of like a blood disorder, but it means that I'm missing an important factor in my body, which is factor eight. And without it, I will bleed eternally into certain parts of my body. More preferably, and the most targeted joint of all is, of course, the ankle. In this case, my right ankle, where the pain is extreme. It's also because of my hemophilia, it's the reason why I need surgery all of a sudden. Because I have developed what's called an osteochondria defect of the talus. If you guys don't know how to, how to spell that, here it is on screen. But basically what an osteochondria defect is, it basically means that my ankle bone is starting to deteriorate. It's kind of the type of injury you would see in a football player or somebody that's in their late 40s, early 40s, and late 30s. So that's the kind of how rare an osteochondria defect is. It's, that's where it's more commonly known to start developing. But for this case, I'm 19, and my hemophilia really contributed for, to the fact that I developed an osteochondria defect. And this is sort of the slight reason why I haven't been really recording or uploading videos for the last two months, at least not as much as I used to previously do before. And that's because I was in the middle bit, little bit of a stressful state and panic state because I wasn't sure what kind of surgery I would be receiving for this not at all small surgery. It's a massive surgery and it's been very much stressing me out for the last two, two or so months. So it's the main purpose why I haven't been really uploading as many videos. I actually haven't been really hiding uh, something in the background as of late. If you go back and watch one of my old, previous uh, reaction videos, within the last two or so months, you'll see a medical boot in the background that I have to wear every now and then whenever my ankle starts to act up. Act up. The reason why I say act up is because of the pain ever since the first day I felt the extreme amount of pain. It's been kind of tamed, I guess you could say. The pain itself hasn't really shown any extreme amount to the point where I can't stand up anymore ever since the day it happened, or rather the day I was diagnosed with this. So. That's the reason why I wear the boot every now and then. I'm actually sometimes wearing it during reactions, but there are other times where I'm not wearing it, and it's just sitting in the background. Which brings us to the actual surgery itself. As it's to this date, that while I'm recording this video, I don't know when I'm going to be getting the surgery. I could be getting it within the first few weeks of January, or I could be getting it sometime in May. It really depends on what my second x-ray says. I was actually meant to get the second x-ray last week, but because of the snow that hit New York and whatnot, I couldn't, we weren't able to get into the city and the doctors actually decided to cancel it because they didn't want us to drive up in the middle of a snowstorm. So I won't know when I'm getting a second x-ray. Actually, I know when I'm getting the second x-ray. I'll be getting it on the 4th and I'll probably have more information for you guys when this surgery is going to happen and what the state of this channel is actually going to be. Which actually brings me to my next point. What's the channel going to be looking like in 2021? Well, the channel's going to stay the same as it always been. 
doing reaction videos, gameplay videos, animations, music animations, the all of the above of what I usually do. But when I do have this surgery, they're going to be declining for quite some time because I'm going to be in the middle of the first few weeks of recovery and to the point where I don't want to get out of bed and hop on the computer because my bed is actually on the floor from the computer. You actually see it all the time in my reaction videos now. But it's going to be a strenuous process as it is sort of a massive ankle surgery. So it, the, my ability to make videos for a period of time will, of course, be decreased. Not because I'm stressed or whatnot, but because I will be out of action for a majority of time. So whenever I do have the surgery, I will make a personal update on my channel showing what the result was and how long I might be in recovery for before I start like physical therapy and whatnot. But it's all still up in the air of when the surgery is going to happen. I know what kind of surgery I'm going to be having, but I don't think I'll say it until after I actually have it because it's not at all kind that pretty. But yeah, so I just wanted to give you guys the update of what the hell happened to me, why I all of a sudden just disappeared from YouTube every now and then, not making any update videos like I usually do. But yeah, that's kind of the reality of what's been going on off screen, behind the scenes actually of YouTube. And I think that's really it that I'll really all have to talk about, but I will try and keep you guys updated from here on out about what the process is going to be and when I'll be having the surgery and how long I'll be out of action. So I hopefully you guys did enjoy today's update video. If I didn't, I didn't really say this in the animation video that's coming up in four days or so. So I'll say it now. Merry Christmas to you guys, all, all of you guys. Um, Happy New Year's and hopefully 2021 will be a better year. I mean, I hope it does. Jesus, this year has been absolutely horrendous. I hope 2021 is even better for everyone, personally. But, yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy today's update video and what's been going on be with me behind the scenes. Like, subscribe, all that stuff, guys, and I will see you in 2021. Bye-bye.